most of the time. Most of the time. Oh, hey, Victor. That's what I was talking about, about hit point damage. It's just, oof. We should kill that Orion. He's close, and I don't like him. Uh, we have more heavies coming in. Uh, Black Knight next. That's a very, very, very good um, heavy mech, by the way. I love Black Knights. You can do a lot of crazy builds with those things. Crusader next, because I don't like him. I mean, it's not that I don't like the Crusader, it's just, I don't know, he's there, and he's firing missiles, and he's making me uncomfortable. Alright, and now let's deal with Mr. Victor. I'm trying to see if I can headshot him, but it appears he's been headshot. Oh, there's another heavy. Hello. Oops to be this. Oh, it's an archer. I kind of like archers. I almost got a headshot. That was impressive. Nope. Nice Alright. Got a headshot. I don't think he'll be ejecting anytime soon. Usually patrols are easier than that, but that was a bit of a bit of a surprise there. What's our victor doing? Oh, he almost blew up. Okay. I need to give him more back armor. He has a nasty habit of getting cored. From the other side. I guess what I'm saying is he gets shot in the back a lot. It would behoove me to give him better armor. Alright, let's have another mech take lead. Something a little bit faster. Weapon groups on this thing are weird, let me tell ya. Five and six, okay. And now we leave. I do like the Thunderbolt. I feel like they're pretty, pretty good um, 65 ton heavies. Like, they're really solid. Dude, they do everything they should. And if you get really nice, like, custom Thunderbolts, they can be really dangerous. Absolute menaces. There's a couple hero variants of the Thunderbolt I really like. I don't know if we can get free stuff for doing this, I guess. kind of goodies we'll get. I have to wonder what goodies will we get. Oh, double heat sinks. Oh, fuck yeah. I'll take those. I 
I was kind of hoping we'd get a mercenary lance intersection, but that did not happen. Because, uh, as we've proven from last time... Oh, wait. Nope. Thought they were mercs. I got excited. <coughs> Alright, let's do what we do best. I gotta get an XL engine and a better core in this thing. I'm not saying the awesome is slow, but it can be better. Sure, whatever you say, Mr. Cretan Lanceman. Whatever you say. Alright, we should shoot the Warhammer, because he has PPCs, and that hurts my feelings. Alright, he is half the Warhammer he used to be. Alright, shoot the Archer next. I'm making a mess of my Thunderbolt. The dragon, non threat, marauder is kind of scary. Dragon is more annoying than an actual threat. But we're gonna shoot him regardless. And a marauder. Let's shoot him next. Oh, he overheated. How cute. Now oh, I've made a mistake. <laughs> oh, poor guy. He fell over. And now we leave. Hopefully I can get some Marauder parts. I really do like Marauders. We're gonna need repairs after this one. Oh boy. At least oh, there was nothing equipped on that arm, so we didn't actually lose anything, per se. Except our pride. The only thing that was damaged was my pride as I take a drink of my water. water. There's nothing quite like a... what's the word I'm looking for? Like, fresh out of the refrigerator water. Just like, cool, crisp, good stuff. That was an interesting contract. Hey, we got two double heat sinks from that thing, so that's pretty nice. Oh, we did headshot that, Victor. Cool. And by we, I mean my lance mates did. Uh, the only thing here is, um, huh. Okay, well, I'll take the Black Knight Salvage. And I'll take Orion Salvage. Because both are pretty decent 75 ton mechs. Both are pretty good in their own respect. Right, let's go repair, and we'll go to a slightly less spicy system. 7 to 10 is still a bit of a, a bit of a stretch for our lance right now. It's doable, but the repair costs are uh, eating us alive. And we can sell those Owens when we get to the next place. Make a quick 
buck off of them after I strip out that endo steel. Five to eight feels pretty reasonable. Let's go do that. A fortress contract against House Davian. I'd rather not assassinate my own um, reputation again. So we're going to sell that Owens for three million. And we're going to sell this Owens for another three million. Hey, look at that. We are six million richer now. Is there anything worthwhile? An assault katana. As fun as that would be, I have to say not right now. Okay. Contracts. Objective raid against Kirita, and we have a chance to run into Iridani Light Horse, which is a mercenary company, which we need because mercenary DLC, need I say more. Extreme weather warning is in effect, Commander. You'll have limited visibility. A deluge. Have to contend with sensor malfunctions. <sighs> it do be raining. We have the victor a break. It's uh it's had enough. We'll take the grasshopper. Alright, let's break some stuff. We're only being paid for the elimination of the targets. So try not to stick around and tangle with the defenders for too long. Or you'll never hear the end of it from part. Oh hey, they're joining us. Cool. Commander, you won't be facing this one alone. Our employer has hired us to accompany you. What support am I getting from Light Horse? An Enforcer and a Kentaro. You know what? I'll take it. That's a pretty decent compliment. All in all. It could be worse. They could be shooting at me. There's a crab. Was. A crab. a champion. He's down. I got a little too toasty. Damn, it'd be like that. Alright, let's break this stuff and get out of here. Such a big threat. And Irby. Big old hunchback. There's a dragon, which is a non threat, really. I mean, yeah, it's a heavy, but. It's still a threat in that it's a heavy mech and it can punch me if it wanted to, but... Just because it has crap weapons doesn't mean it can't throw hands. That's a really bad day to be a Hunchback, I'm a level with you. I like Hunchbacks, but they're not invincible. Getting a little toasty on this one too. Oh, he's got an MRM launcher. That's kind of fun. It's uh, well, it's dead now. Hunchback's got to go because again, a lot of firepower. 
Oh, I'm toasty. Help! Help! I'm toasted! Another hunchback. Different variant, though. AC-10. He wants to throw hands, too, so that's, um, concerning. He's gonna fight me in the Arby's parking lot. Hey, another panther. We need to kill those. Hey, that's a cantina mission complete. Cool. He's ready to throw down on the Arby's parking lot, because I said beef and cheddars aren't as great as he thinks they are. And, you know, I have to agree. Beef and cheddars are... When I was younger, I liked Arby's. I liked beef and cheddars. Um, not so much anymore. Not necessarily a fan. As I got older, Arby's started making me sicker and sicker, and I found that there's very few things I can have from an Arby's, except their chicken tenders are pretty good. They're pretty safe. They don't make me sick. And the, um... Their curly fries are always pretty good. I like their curly fries. Yeah, that's another cantina mission. Uh, Igor's. Uh, nice large lasers, bro. Get me out of here. Hey, look, more Max. Another hunchback. Cool down, Tad. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. To stay around. Oh, I got toasty. Don't fire all large lasers at once, it's a bad idea. Ah, I've done it again. I feel like in this thing, I'm going to have to start keeping, like, cobs of corn in and around the cockpit, so if they start popping, and they're my cockpit fills with popcorn, I know I'm a little too hot. Instead of reading my heat gauge like a normal person. <laughs> oh, shit, they almost killed the Thunderbolt. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Okay, we found a light rifle, that's great. <laughs> well, I need panthers, so let's turn them in. Does that mean we have to complete three jobs? Yes, it does. Hey, got a narc launcher. Kill three panthers. And collect two panthers. Well, they didn't tell me what condition they had to be in. Key containment's a good upgrade. And now... I can sell... This panther. 
1.9 million Seabills. Yes. I'm twirling my moustache as we speak. Oh, that's funny. Okay. A stalker! Ooh. For 7.7 .7 million, I could have a stalker, and those are fairly decent. I did not repair, however. So, repair. The stalker is tempting, though it is not my ideal version of a stalker. Ideally, it'd be the large laser variant, where I can put two large lasers in the torso. But it's still very, very tempting. It is 85 tons. But it is slow, and I do not have XL engines, so I will go see what this other rare mech is. Because I have money to shop around. I've got cash. I've got 30 million C-bills. I kind of want to shop around and see what I can buy. I kind of want another, like, really, really good mech, you know? A rare victor, the 9S. Okay. It's driving me crazy that there's, like, an autocannon bugged out in the mech market. Okay, there we go. It's driving me crazy. That's, like, an endgame area. Let's maybe not and say we didn't. I kind of want to go over here and see what they got in the Free Worlds League. Go over here. We'll travel around a little bit. Maybe we'll do some contracts with the Free Worlds League. Maybe we'll do one some more Steiner. Who knows? Those in need. Eh. Another contract, sure. There's a hero mech for sale over there. I do want to check the market here, though. More stalkers. That's the variant I want. That's the variant I shall buy. Okay, the 4N is the ideal variant, in my opinion. That I can get right now. Ah, I just painted it. I want to refit. My brain is failing me. Refit is E. Okay. Now, I am so tempted to put two binary lasers in this thing and call it good. But, let's maybe not. Let's give it armor. Armor. Ditch the single heat sinks. Okay, we have a bare bones stalker. I want to play with the armor first. Okay, now, main armament. Well, before I do anything, actually. I do want to give it a f bigger core because, man, these things are just, in my opinion, I feel stalkers are slow. It's, you know, 48 kilometers. Uh, I could settle with, like, a 310. 
That way I have extra heat sink slots for these nice doubles. Improved sensors. Endo steel structure. And I do want to put good short range missile launchers for my energy hard points. I do want decent large lasers. There and there. And then medium lasers, like some tier 2s or some tier 3s, which I appear to not have, but I'll have to do some upgrading. Tier 1s for now. could put like a big old LRM in one of the arms. Like a big old LRM-20 if I had it. But I don't. So... Uh, let's look at the market. LRM-15. We'll have to do. I did want to check for double ammo bins. There are none, so we'll just have to use the single bins. What a shame. I have to use the single ton bins. Whatever shall I do? Besides that, probably just cooling ability. Because this thing is a little toasty. We'll save those doubles for the awesome. I could just ditch this for like an LRM-10 Artemis, which I might do, actually. For more heat sinking. And I do have two bins of that. We'll stick with one bin for now, and I will actually opt for more heat sinking, because I don't want to overheat. Yeah, this thing is a little toasty. Um, not ideal. That's the way the cookie crumbles. That thing might be a little toasty. We'll see how it plays. Okay, now, what's that hero mech? Because I have stupid spending money. I do not care. Give me Hero Wolverine. Sure, it's a good mech. I just don't want the hero Wolverine. There's a Templar for 30 million sea bills. It is an Omni mech, so that is fun, fun, fun.
Alright, there's a Highlander. Oh, hello. That's the one with the Goss Rifle, isn't it? It is. Ooh, I like Highlanders. I'll talk about there's an Atlas. Naturally, there's an Atlas. It's a broken Atlas. Ooh, I really want the Highlander, and I think the heart wants the Highlander, and the heart is going to get the Highlander. I have no impulse control and lots of money. I'm going to make mistakes today. Oh, there's some MWO camos. Okay, we have this thing. That's fun. I'm liking it. Now, it runs <laughs> slow, for starters. I can make it a little bit... F well... Yeah, for starters, we're losing the jump jets, because I just... I don't believe in jump-capable assault max. It's just... it goes against my philosophy. Give it a single double heat sink there. Alarum 20 Artemis. Goss ammo, three medium lasers. If anything, I want to tweak the armor, because I actually do like the setup of the stock ish Highlander. The only thing I'd change out would be, like, weapon tiers and the armor a little bit, and the cooling. It's a pretty solid layout right now. Um, did I have a better Gauss rifle? No, I do not. Better mediums, mayhaps? Got medium pulses. Oh, I have two tier twos. Hey, look at that. I don't need a case system for Goss ammo that doesn't explode. I can save a ton by ripping that out of that side. Uh, Artemis ammo will explode though, so we're gonna not chance it. I think I might take my spare tonnage and just make this thing as menacing as possible. Oh, I don't have a... it wouldn't be symmetrical. Never mind. Improved sensors. But we'll do that though. I can't say no to improve sensors. I will take an extra ton of gas ammo. SRM-6 Artemis. I think I'll swap that for a high tier 4. Better accuracy overall. Oh, I do have a tier 2 Gauss. We're going to use that. And modular ferro fibrous, because if I lose that tier 2 Gauss rifle, I will cry about it. And probably some single heat sinks. And that will do that build. Alright, we've dropped below 10 million sea bills. Maybe it's time to stop spending money. And start investing. <laughs> it's time to stop spending and start investing. Please, someone stop me. <laughs> Range, heat capacity. Those are really the only two upgrades I want. Energy range... Oh wait, that's ballistic. There's no ballistic weapons on board. Mainly the big three right there. A little bit of range, a little bit of heat capacity. Make this thing slightly more interesting.
Each upgrade is going to take about 600,000 sea bills. I also forgot we have the Cyclops, the uh, Sand Blaster Supreme. Keep that pretty simple for now. Uh, Kentaro, I don't want to invest money in because it's going to get sold pretty soon. Okay. Let's stop spending because we're running out of money. Oh, there's a hero mech. Uh, game is tempting me. Alright, let's go make more money. Probably somewhere where we won't get murdered. By high tier things. Hopefully there's still work down there. If not, I have wasted more money. Hey, a double heat sink. How much do they want for it? Ah, yes. <laughs> I will buy that. Pretty good deal for a double heat sink. Okay. Ah, of course, they're all contracts against Davian. Why would they be? Oh, hey. One for Davian. In mercenary territory. Let's make it happen. <laughs> okay. Why not? Let's see what that's about. Exploration against the pirates. Okay. Let's do this battleground. Harlock's warriors. Honestly, I need the money, so cash. Seven million sea bills and fifteen points of salvage. That's pretty good, man. Pretty decent deal. Now, I kind of want to go full Cyclops and just see the last game. Maybe that's funny. I do want to go in pretty heavy, though. We have an awesome... We're going to bring the Highlander. I want the Stalker. We're going to in way heavier than we need to, and I don't care. It's Operation Give Me Your Money, I'm not asking. Give me all of your money, and yes, my mic is quiet. I'm taking a drink of water. I'm trying to spare you the terrifying audio that this mic picks up every time I take a drink of something. It's so sensitive. Like, yes, I needed ASMR level qualities of me drinking water. Thank you, microphone. I appreciated that. Thank you, Logitech Headset, from Newegg.com. Not a sponsor, I'm just saying. It's a decent mic for not a lot of money. I think I paid like $30 for this headset. It's pretty good, not gonna lie. My last Logitech Headset lasted me like four years. Good headset. Yeah, we got a few new max. This should be interesting. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems phenomenal. Oh, look at all these medium max. Oh dear, I think we went in a little heavier than they were expecting. Dear, oh 
Oh dear. That fire starter had an LB-10 on board. What the hell? I'm in love with you. If I was a lance of light and medium mechs and I saw four assaults coming in, I'd probably just leave. Like, they do not stand a chance. It's very brave of them to stand and fight, but I delete. 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 Oh, wait, hold on. Delete. Oh, I got toasty. Oh, no. Alright, maybe if I was these lights and mediums, I'd be fucking confused. Delete. Ah, <laughs> oh, good, the mercs are here. That was a whiff. Oh wow, a Phoenix Hawk. You dropped one medium mech. <laughs> Some mercs they are. Oh, there's a heavy too. A prototype. Okay. Oh, there's so many light mechs. Oh, you have SRM launchers? That's cute. Oh, you know, assuming I can aim. There we go. Wow, a Griffin prototype. Not scared. I think that Phoenix Hawk is a little scarier. I think I might go back to actually chain firing these SRMs. Ow, oh, well, mistakes were made on this day. Minus my overheating, it's going okay. Another fire. Ooh, ooh PPC'd me. Don't appreciate it. I was monologuing, damn you. Oh, nice jump jets. Wham. Good, the jump jets did him. I do not have the range for those. Okay, we'll just get closer. And, assuming we don't kill everything on the field, I can just go get a free repair. Which I kind of want to do because less repair costs. A lot of friendly mechs out here. I realize it's a war zone contract, or battlefield contract, but still. A lot of friendlies. Which, I'm glad there's friendlies out here. It gives the enemy something to shoot at besides me. I mean, uh, they're doing a good job.
repairs. Not gonna say no. Okay. What damage? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh boy's tagged. How many more enemy mechs are there? Go get him, Owens. Let him go. Weird little chicken mech. He's doing his best. Someone got him. Gotta get those trees. Gotta get the trees, man. Gotta get the trees. Quality. Oh, that was a lot of intel, okay. So, anything mech-wise worth salvaging? Not really. Besides these Omni-Mech fire starters that are worth 11 million C-bills. So, I mean, they're not cored out. Excel engines and all the goodies like that. Uh, any double heat sinks? Looks like it's all singles and machine guns. Okay. Well, what can I take for the biggest bang for my buck? Looks like this fire starter, I guess. And this laser. I take this as a trophy. I will hang it on my wall. Huh. Contract, okay. Tempting. It was a campaign mission. Still have to kill J. Edgar's harassers and warriors, so we should probably go to lower difficulty worlds to encounter those enemies. Which is boring, but I gotta get the con. We gotta get those uh, cantina missions done, so we can get money, and more importantly, we can get more upgrades unlocked. It's not glorious, but we do have some pretty good mechs to get it done with. Dire circumstances. Uh, Coordinate representative. He will give me a marauder. Okay. Don't you mind if I do. We're gonna repair first, though. Uh, everything's busted in this fire starter, so sell it. Repair and be on our way. If I can get a Marauder, that's pretty good. Pretty good mech. And it's the Energy Marauder, too. Because most Marauders, the like, the average build of them is... Four Energy Hard Points in the Arms and a Ballistic Hard Point. Or several in the Torso. But an All Energy Marauder is like, you know, you could do three large lasers. Because you'll have an Energy Hard Point in the Torso. And in the Arms. Three large lasers. It's pretty convincing. I could probably make a really scary large laser build out of that thing. A 
couple mediums or some smalls as backup. Dire circumstances. That man has a magnificent beard. Look at him. Yes, I will take your money. The Concordat doesn't necessarily like me because I bullied them early on, but that's okay. I'll take their money now. Okay, the Cyclops, I feel... is a little bit overkill. Highlander, I feel, is a little bit overkill. We'll save those for when we really need to go in, like... Guns blazing. We'll run a little bit lighter than usual. You know, just 70 tons max. That poor quick drop. Mm -hmm. Minister Vandenberg has called for an investigation into rumors of deviant troop buildups in the Verdigris system. We are contracting you to prod deviant defenses at the Mark's nav point, while we collect data on the regional defenses of the area. We're zooming. We're zooming as fast as I can. I have to stay here and harvest light vehicles until I finish my contract. <gasps> Gasp! Was it a manticore? That thing's dangerous. Was dangerous. Jaeger mech is not as scary as you think. I mean, sure, the Jaeger's good, but at the end of the day, it's an anti aircraft mech. It has the armor of an anti-aircraft vehicle. And that's the end of the story for that thing. Good weapons, you know, good targeting system, but at the end of the day, it's not meant to fight other mechs. Poor Jaegers. They tend to get pushed into some um, not great combat roles. It's like trying to tow an 18 wheeler with your Chevy Suburban. It's just not going to happen. And I intend to die on this hill, let me tell you. Look at this hill, it's great. Hilly. Very hilly. I don't intend to die on this hill. I don't die on hills. I shoot at things while I'm on a hill. You stand no chance. Hey, look, another harasser dead. Share target identified. My only mistake was not bringing LRM mechs. Enemy forces continuing to converge on your location. Like, that's the one thing I'm missing from my lances, is like, just one dedicated long-range missile boat. Oh, it's just behind me, okay. Wow. 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 What a mighty Air Force that was. Confirmed, Commander. Moving on target. A Wolverine. I'm in a cold environment, so I can't Alpha Strike pretty well. Oh, he did a hop. <laughs> I do the same thing when I stub my toe. God, that's the worst, man. That's the... You're just minding your own business in your room or your kitchen or whatever, and then you, like, miscalculate. You stub the crap out of your toe. Dude, that is the worst, let me tell you. It's not good. Oh, that poor Jaeger. Little did you know, I'm the best AA vehicle around. Because in this game, aerospace assets are a joke. You feel nice and safe, and then wham! In all honesty, this game does uh, aerospace assets dirty. The, the warrior, to my knowledge, is a... Uh, 
It's not supposed to be an attack helicopter. It's supposed to be like a skirmisher, if that makes sense. But they push it into an attack helicopter role and it gets massacred. And I'm fairly sure Igors are just heavy lift vehicles they strap guns to. And call it a gunship. It's nuts. I might be mistaken on that one. I don't know a whole lot about Igors. Um, yeah, this game doesn't do aerospace assets justice. In this, in the Mech Warrior like tabletop universe, there's a whole like rule set for fighter jets and bombers and airstrikes. There's like a whole class of like fighter jets and stuff in this game, or in this universe, not in this game specifically. They're fucking scary. Like, because this is, it's based off the tabletop universe for, you know, Battletech. Um, yes, they did. Uh, no comment on that one. <laughs> it's, it's, they just so happened to lose control. But yeah, there's rule sets for, um, bigger aerospace assets. Like fighter jets, bombers, um, dropships, the leopards. The leopard dropships have their own rules. Um, not rules, but they are technically aerospace assets. And thankfully, because of one of the mods I'm running, uh, if I want to get absolutely murdered in some of the end game contracts, they, they spawn uh, leopard dropships as uh, enemies, and those things are terrifying to fight. I do not like fighting leopard dropships. It's scary. I've only ever shot down two of them in my entire time playing this game. They usually just murk me instantly. But uh, yeah, they did collide with that tower. Uh, no comment on that. <laughs> Just some very qualified pilots they were. What's some Michael Bay shit, let me tell you. I didn't know we were on the set of Transformers 3, Dark of the Moon. It's the Decepticons, I'm telling you. Where's the last enemies? I well, not the last enemies, but where are they? I want to get my combat bonus. I want to finish my contracts. I don't know why I emphasized finish so much, but I did. Perhaps it's the uh, drink talking. My tap ward. It's angry. I'm just gonna punch trees until they show up. Ooh, a drop ship full of money. Yeah, that's a leopard dropship, so imagine that, but it's shooting at me. Ow. Fucking Igors, get out of here. Trebuchets are known more colloquially as trebuchets. You ever punch somebody some so hard in the chest they explode? Okay. 
keep blowing up harassers. Another harasser down. I have killed three out of 16. We're gonna be here for a while. Good thing I brought an energy mech. Damn trees getting in the way of my laser beams and stuff. Target is done. Laser beams and stuff. It's abysmal. God, I love the Warhammer. That is just such a good looking heavy. He's looking at me. He looks at me. And I look at him. Okay. I think we'll stay for one more wave of thingies and goodies to shoot down and kill. And we'll just end the contract because I have other things to do today. As much as I'd love to sit here and farm out this contract, I could probably spend my time running other contracts. Alright, what'd they send me? Oh look, another trebuchet. I'm sensing a pattern here. Wait for it to explode. There we go. Bro, I got four large lasers. I ain't afraid of you. Come here. Come here. We're going to have a nice chit chat about how badly you've done goofed. Oh, look, another trebuchet. Alright, let's get out of here. We made an extra, you know. 350k plus. Nearly 370k. Yeah, 370k. Okay. That's a decent bonus. Money is money. I shan't complain about it. I shall not complain. And I really don't want to put the entire bonus towards a repair cost, so... I'll just shoot some trees and leave. Oh, 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 we're already in the circle. Too bad. I did contemplate staying for that last wave, but. Oh well. Break that wall. I had to make, the, I had to make it look like some kind of fight happened. Then it wasn't a complete slaughter. Like it definitely was. I mean, it definitely wasn't a slaughter. They put up a massive fight. We took so much damage. You have to pay us so much money for the damage we incurred. That's how it goes. Alright, so is there anything... Oh, the lasers are cool. Any doubles? No jabbers. But there are wolverine parts, and I don't want them. So we're going to take those lasers. All right, part two of this contract. Now, one thing I'm gonna do before I forget is go to here, and I would like to upgrade all of my shit tier energy la uh, weapon lasers. Here we go. We'll upgrade to four tier two lasers. I don't want to upgrade all of my um, other ones. Those PPCs to tier one. Those lasers to tier two. All those, all the SRMs aren't really worth it. Oh, here we go, medium lasers. All of that. Okay. Decent amount of upgrading. We're going to repair our mechs. We're going to hit the star map button, and we're going to go to Pirate's Haven. Oh, gee willikers, Batman. I must wonder, how did I end up in the periphery? This place is a little bit, um, spicy. This planet is towards Pirate's Haven. I wonder who resides here. Oh, 
Oh me, oh my, I wonder. And we'll just take more cash instead. The nasty weather means your visibility will be limited out there and have adverse effects on your senses. Adverse effects. You do not say. I also am like having the maddening hankering because I really want to go play Mountain Blade Warband 2. I recently got back into that game, and I forgot how much fun it is just to run around in that game and just do nothing but participate in tournaments and become, like, ultimate Giga Chad. <laughs> yeah, Warband 2 is a fantastic game. I love it. If my PC can handle it, I'd love to stream it, but I know I can't handle streaming that one. I can barely stream this. Oh, that's a lot of IMX. House Davian has a nasty habit of trying to, um, bring the Concordat into the Davian sphere of influence, whether they want to be there or not. Let's blow up this artillery, because this is going to be real annoying. Oh, we're getting a little toasty! Stay here and cool down a little bit. We're getting toasty. It's a hot environment. This is a pretty hot Mac. Just give it a second. Cool down. And then we start moving. Before the artillery can nail us. Hey, look at Cicado. It's made of sad. Wow. Light Mac. It's not even a bother. The damage they do is so negligible. Target destroyed. Target acquired. That assassin looks lost. He's like, oh Jesus, I don't want to be here. Oh God. Oh Lord. Oh man. I forgot to put cheese on my turkey sandwich today. It's going to be a bad day. If you forgot to put pepper jack or provolone of cheese on your turkey sandwich, I'm just saying, in theory, your day would be inferior. Comparatively, if you were to have cheese on your sandwich for lunch, I'm just saying. That was me. I forgot to put cheese on my sandwich today. I'm living a lie. A cheeseless existence. for everyone. We've got our kill quota on warrior units, thankfully. So a couple more artillery pieces to pop. Gotta pop them like a ketchup packet.
infinitely spawning warriors. Yeah, my large lasers were not on my arm mounts, so that was a bit of a waste. Let us continue. Yes, come here, artillery. Try as you might. Alright, artillery's dead, thank god. Pain in the ass. Who would have thought shooting at helicopters with lasers that turn them into molten metal is not good for their airframe? Suspect. I don't know why you would tell me that on an open communication line, Tentorian man, but okay. A wee bit suspect. But I guess I'm not in the Concordat, so I don't know anything. Ooh. Was a spicy one. A solid four out of ten. Yeah, no, more like a six out of ten. Space politics, as it were. And I will take these lasers. Don't mind me, unless there's a double heat sink I can snag. There is not. So lasers, it is. Do we get my Marauder yet? Give me my Marauder. I want it. No, part three. God damn it! Okay. You're making me work for- Oh, it's at this- Okay, cool. Don't have to go anywhere for it. It's here. Part three. Give me money. Alright, I don't want to wait for repairs, so we're just gonna, we're gonna go for it. Everything that can be perceived as operational is gonna be deployed. Eh. We'll bring the awesome instead. Because it's truly awesome. This mission. I brought the good mech for this one. 
could go in and flush them out with mechs and armor. Strike forces will be divided up by lance and advance through one of these many entrances, boxing these pirate forces in. Support each other when you can, but be sure to cover your own entryway and ensure no pirate forces escape the justice of the Taria Defense Force. That's an obnoxious amount of missiles. I'm the only one allowed to slay those here. Don't you know? I'm the main character. Well, that was a mech. Sheer logistical hell of having like 1,000 missiles on board. Boom! Enemy mech eliminated! Destroyed. Oh, nice commando. Target destroyed. New target jabbering. Target destroyed. Target applied. We may have came in a lot more heavily armored and armed than we needed to be. And I don't care. It makes me feel good. To quote the ghost, <laughs> to quote the Ghostbusters, "Bustin' makes me feel good." My only weakness is helicopters. My two medium lasers. Aren't they? Where art thou? Oh, there's one of them. Oh, there's the entire goddamn Air Force again. Laser on board? Oh, he's the good variant. Oh, it was the good variant. The oh, it's raiding helicopters. Oh, Jesus. And this is the first real bit of damage I've taken. Random helicopter to the face. Look at Thunderbolt. Was a thunderbolt. Oh, nice short range missiles, bro. that as a melee kill even though I punched his corpse. Okay, we still got about 650 missiles. Here they come. The Air Force again. Ooh, that's a Kentaro. 
was a good They just, there's no, there's no chance for these guys. Yes, please continue firing missiles at me. It'll make me, uh, feel better. There we go. Space cash. Space cash. Space money. So I can buy space things and stuff. You know how it is. Space money. Money! My fucking money! I quote Chappie almost as often as I can because that movie is so funny to me. There's nothing quite like watching Hugh Jackman get like absolutely destroyed by a, like a random police robot with a golden chain. Like it's amazing. Hey, and a marauder. Don't mind if I do. We gonna, well, we are in a war zone, technically, I guess. Got a few cantina contracts. Collect two assassins and kill five spiders. Alternatively, I could just not and say I didn't. They're going over here to New Damascus, as opposed to the Old Damascus. Oh man. Do 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 Priority transmit. Oh, Legends of the Kestrel Lancers is about to start. All right. That changes things. And I do have a pretty good lineup for Legends of the Kestrel Lancers, actually. Uh, in case you were wondering what that is, that's the first DLC. Okay, now, I am so tempted to fill this thing with binary lasers, but I won't. I am so very tempted to do large laser short burst. Do I have any more large lasers? I might be stuck with PPCs. Alternatively, I could do a large laser short burst and then a bunch of medium lasers. Because I just have three energy hard points per arm. <laughs> yeah, it's the portable oven. Either I'll cook or you will. Exactly. Do you have any idea how much bread I can make in this mech? I can make so much bread. I do like me some bread. Bread do be tasty. Mm, bread. Though I might just decide that... Okay. So, we'll do a large short burst laser. Uh, we'll do a good large short burst in the torso. And we will do a pair of large short burst lasers tacked on there. Other than that, I believe it runs at 64 kilometers. It's pretty decent. Mayhaps a double heat sink. 
Uh, well, no, we'll just do a single. We'll give it a couple heat sinks. And honestly, Marauders are pretty solid as they are. I only tweak them slightly to make them only a little bit better. They're a pretty decent setup. I like Marauders. They're good at what they do. I mean, just look at that thing. It's a weird-looking angry crab monster, and I love it. It's the crab monster who lost all his bread, and he wants it back. Priority transmission. Let's make it happen. Kestrel Lancers! Okay. Federated Sons have joined an alliance with the Lyran Commonwealth that will eventually merge us into a single nation, the Federated Commonwealth, otherwise known as the Fedcoms. This eventual unification or two very different great houses has come to a fair shake, a fair share of skepticism that'll and issues to work through, especially when it comes to the military, whereas the AFFS and the LCAF have centuries have for centuries had two very different ways of approaching war. First, Prince Hans Davian strongly believes that it is in our best interest to work out as many of these issues possible prior to our unification. To address this, we will be hosting a series of war games across multiple Davian worlds that will be called Operation Galahad. The Federated Sons would like to contract you and your mercenary company later this year to participate in these war games. We are offering generous compensations along with the possibility of future long-term contracts should you meet your performance should your performance meet our expectations. Please let us know as soon as you'd like to accept the offer. Yes. Let's go get this bread. We even get a dumb little cutscene. I'm gonna shut up and let it play. Project Cold Snap, this is... what? <laughs> sure, we'll do that later. Okay. There he is! <laughs> ah, the formation of the Federated Commonwealth will unite House Steiner and House Davian militaries into a single centralized armory. Operation Galahad will serve as a wide-reaching series of war games across multiple systems which will act as joint training exercises between forces of AFFS and the LCAF. While many of these war games will be pitting the AFFS and the LCAF against one another, we will also train in a series of exercises combining both armies into a united FEDCOM coalition. Ha! Huh, he said the word, FEDCOM. This is where you come in for Galahad. The Avigat Games, FedCom Coalition Forces will be executing a joint operation attempting to destroy decommissioned orbital defenses. You and your crater Cobras have been assigned to act as the defenders for this installation. Your task will be to destroy the invading Coalition Forces and prevent the destruction of orbital defenses systems. See you on the field. Yeah, sure. Oh, there's more? Oh, too bad. I don't care. All right. See, because we are in good with House Davian, we can make stupid money off these contracts. Three million starting. Not bad. I feel like going in. We'll go a little, a little light, a little lighter than usual. Bring that Marauder. Yeah. This is what I call going a little bit lighter. There's two heavies instead of four assaults.
destroyed by the mercenary defenders. This war game will end in a Commonwealth victory with the fall of the targeted facility and a mercenary victory with the elimination or capture of the FedCom Coalition's commanding officers. Good luck, everyone. This operation will commence now. The spaceman said go, so I go. He seems confident. Remember, it's a war game. They're simulated lasers. Everything's fine. That's simulated. He's fine. He'll be fine, I promise. The homie didn't even see me. Hello? You lost, bud? The homie does not give a shit. Okay, poor guy. Warhammer's having a real bad day. Foreshadowing, mayhaps. God, they do not give a shit at all. It is the Shiner approach. Just throw money at the problem until it goes away. That literally, they just do not care. Homie, I am shooting at you. Please acknowledge me. Okay. I'm not saying I'm biased, but the Federated Sons are a little bit more competent than the uh, Steiner uh, Lyran Commonwealth. They're just a little bit more confident. A little, a little bit more confident, that's all I'm saying. A wee bit more confident. I mean, they're still all dying horribly, but... Oh, crap. Blew up one of the AA guns. Not cash money.
Oh, there was a medium over here. There it is. Hey, look, a trebuchet. Knock it off. I mean, if this is what you wish to do, so be it. Well, here comes the Air Force again. Kill five more vehicles. Oh, it's just a J. Edgar. Okay. I'm worried about these two mediums. Come on. Come here. Come here. Let's have an exchange of words. And by words, I mean laser beams. Also spotlights. Ooh, homeboy's having a bad day. Would not want to be in that centurion. Thought the people that do the actual war fighting are probably better at it than the people who pretend to be good at it. Hmm. Just an observation. A little love tap never hurt. As I say, as I have like six water bottles lined up. Okay, let's take those medium lasers, because medium lasers are nice. Um, and then I just, I want to sell that panther, and I guess I'll take that missile launcher. 9,000 repair costs, they didn't even fucking touch us. Oof. All right. So this guy's just going on about, hey, we beat the shit out of a bunch of nobles. Push the advantage. Yeah, eliminate their commanders. Without leadership... Uh, they're just a bunch of guys, so... I know that's very, uh... Very insightful. I was gonna read that entire, like, wall of text, but I determined it was... Eh. If you want to read it, you can pause it. <laughs> More of the same. More kicking the shit out of nobles. This is a nice bio. The Crater Cobras will act as a diversionary force to draw the main coalition forces away. This 
should give us an opening to take out coalition field commanders. strapping one of those Boston Dynamic robots with a Glock 18 and a throw mag and like, it's okay, the hallway is covered, and then it fires half the magazine and falls over. <laughs> like, it's just not, I'm not a, the biggest fan of small lasers. I think they're okay at best, but man, you're better off with medium lasers. They have range. That is my playstyle is more focused around bigger, heavier, heavy vehicles than like a bunch of souped up mediums and small lasers or a bunch of souped up lights with small lasers. There's something to be said about, you know, a pack of light mechs with really good light lasers and stealth armor. Like, yeah, that's scary, but I don't know. It's just not my playstyle. I wonder what the colonel could be piloting today. Or commander, excuse me.
Oh, he's in a victor. Is it a victor with PPCs? What the fuck? We don't want mediums in our back. That's a scary victory. Lost the AC-20 on our victory. Goss ammo is worth it. Shame I can't take that victor. Can't take the parts though. Pulse laser I'll take. stuff and cash. Plenty of data to go over. I'll get to the point. Commander, how steep you know, mercenary contracts of the year 1328. Okay. Cool, they're gonna wanna like hire me in about a year. Don't mind if I do. Let's continue to do what we're doing then. Except we are not going to repair that panther. We are going to sell the panther for money. The victor I need to take a look at. Because this thing got, um... A wee bit messed up. Oh, they broke the ferrofibrous. Oh. 
Oh, look, we fixed it. Okay. So, AC-20 is busted. I could put another one in, or alternatively, I could not. I could do dual AC-5s instead. This thing doesn't necessarily need double heat sinks. So that'll give 280 rounds for two auto cannons. We lose a fair bit of heat sinking ability, however, honestly, I don't think this need I don't think this thing needed double heat sinks. There's not enough weapon systems to justify the doubles. We'll pull the doubles out, put singles in. There's honestly not enough weapon systems to justify doubles. I can put those doubles in something like the Stalker if I wanted to. Or the Highlander, or literally anything else. It's fine. Okay. So those contracts will take place in about a year. It's fine.